everybody it's gail from gail's bookish things well i know you won't be surprised when i tell you i did indeed succumb to fountain pen day and purchasing a pen just happened to be looking at pen chalet's um instagram little video thing and they showed a conklin pen and the reason i noticed it in particular was because it was a nice uh, olive green color and they said it was on a huge discount so i went to their website and it really was discounted quite well that seemed like it would not be a great loss if i was unhappy with the purchase well then i watched some videos on these conklins and they weren't hugely favorable people were commenting they hate the nib the nib super scratchy um but then a more recent one said they were reportedly working on the nibs and trying to have more quality control over their product. And he felt like they had achieved that, at least with the one that he purchased. This is kind of a fun little box, but you know, I don't, I'm not all about the boxes really, but that, that is a nice little presentation there. And they have said that this is kind of more of a minimalist design and it is really a very glossy finish and it's a metallic finish and the barrel is solid brass and it is um, covered with a lacquer. So that is something different. Most of my pens I think are the resin type. So I thought that was neat. Um, it's a pull off and it's a number six nib, stainless steel of course, number six broad and it's a cartridge converter filling system. Comes with a cartridge, solid there, and then the stainless steel um, cap finial, but you can see it's like flat, but it's got just a little raise to it. And then I'm not really into clips or anything like that, but this appears fairly stiff, but I don't use them. I just slide my pens into my, um, pen case. So I'll ink this up and be back with some first impressions. Okay, so let's let's see what happens here. Conklin Coronet. That's coming out, you know, super gushy, but it was just dipped. I would be surprised if it's like that all the time, but my first impression is this seems seems fine doesn't seem bad at all so this is a broad nib and this is the olive color and i'm writing with noodlers l lawrence let's just do the typical little s thingies i mean this is like this is great this is my new little thing i've seen people do little plants so I'm just doing my little signature leaf there. Super gushy, super wet. Um, I would give it a thumbs up. First impression, hugely favorable. I, I can't think of any reason why I would not like writing with this. And I am writing on the new Tomoe River successor paper. So, yep, Conklin Coronet from Penn Chalet. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Not a bad purchase for $14. We won't talk about the $10 shipping I had to pay to get the $14 pen to my house, but hey, that's that's what happened. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below about this pen or if you've had experience favorable or otherwise with the Conklin brand and what your thoughts are. See you next time.